How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here showing off another arcade type unit here with the Retro Arcade. Looks interesting enough. I've covered stuff like this on my channel. In fact, I may have covered something very similar to this uh, on this channel before in the past. But I love looking at stuff like this because I'm curious to see what they're like it's fresh out of the box. Yeah, they, these usually contain ideas to load up your own ROMs and stuff on there. But I just want to see out of the box, don't have to touch anything, don't have to worry about anything. Just plug it in, turn it on. How does it work? And that's what we're going to find out in this video. A lot of people have been doing a lot of arcade things recently. Of course, you got the uh, the 1UP games here up top. You got my uh, Quarter Arcade from Numskull. New Wave Toys is doing their little arcade machines too. A lot of arcade type things out there. But you have something like this that can do a lot of a little bit of everything. Might be worth your while to check out. The hit and miss sometimes on things like this. And if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. I do at least two videos a week. I'm a huge old school gamer. Always something new coming up. I would appreciate it, my friend. Supports Arcade, CP1, 2, GBA, Super Famicom, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Mega Drive, which is your Sega Genesis, Nintendo, and more. Hmm, interesting. In full disclosure, this was provided to me for the purpose of this video, so thank you, banggood.com. If you'd like yours, check out a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link. It is not a commission link. I don't make any money if you buy one of these. Uh, however, it does refer them to you based on this video, if that makes sense. Joystick feels kind of interesting. It's not clicky, but wasn't expecting it to be either. Huh, interesting. Along with the arcade machine, I get two controllers, USB controllers here, little small ones. And for charging, it's a USB mini. Man, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Kind of nice too, they included a TV cord. So if you don't want to play this like this using this screen, you can play it on a television if you'd like, if it has the RGB nonsense. For the purpose of this video, I want to see what this screen looks like. So I'm going to take the camera around and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to play V to the controller. And I have it plugged in through the mini. HDMI. That's a clean looking screen there. All right, right off the bat, I hear something weird. It may just be the, uh, do you hear that? It's funny, the, lou the louder it is, the more that humming noise goes away. So when I uh, put it on no audio, that's when I can really hear it. But I don't hear any of the sound effects here. Isn't that weird? This little wheel knob too. It's either like it's either on or off. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oof. So we also have the uh, pictures. A couple of songs on there. I'm not gonna see any weird pictures, am I? Oh, that's cool. You know, the, the screen quality is actually pretty good. To be honest with you, here. I can't back out of this picture though. That's not good. Yes. Okay, yeah, for some reason it wouldn't let me do that. I could do it from here, but I couldn't back out from the uh, other thing. With what we got here, I guess we could start with... Uh, Street Fighter 2's been around for so long. Give me something a little bit more complex. Oh, I'm curious. I'm turning the sound down on this one, though, just for now. And it won't be exactly perfectly straight. Okay, so the screen's already stretched a bit. I can see that. Oh. Jeez, that, all, that audio is either all or nothing. I'm zooming in. All right. Well, you can see the frame rate already, right? It's not a good look, man. Not a good look, yo. All right. Already now. How do I back out? Do I hit start? Do I hit select? Do I hit hold start, hit select? There we go. Pretty standard issue in a lot of these. Okay, so we're doing the arcade version of Street Fighter. This is not the Super Nintendo version. Or probably the whatever it said, the CP1 or CP2, whatever this one is. Select button answers coin. Yep. Hit start. And I have a six button control pad here, so we'll see um we'll see how this goes. Punch, medium. No, okay, so the, the control setup too is not where it should be. Well we give me give me a punch. There we go. Alright. This one looks alright. A little slow down there, but. Come on, do your thing. Yikes. Yeah, so here we go. So we have the arcade. Is that where I, where I was? Okay, so now we have other the other things going on here. Here's where we're going to find a ton of games all at once, including... What do we got here? Um, 48 arcade games. 783 Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> wonder how many of those are legit, right? Uh, 496 games here. Sometimes it starts off with the popular ones and then it goes alphabetical. Looks like it's not going to happen on this thing. Oof. 
There's some audio emulation errors right there too, you hear that? This is too sharp. So Mega Drive, this is your Sega Genesis, Six, uh, 622, my goodness. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of NES games here. Oh, right up front, love it. Right, I see right up front, it's in the back, it was at the back of the line. <laughs> Oof. Wait, what? Hold on, let me let me find a familiar game. Uh, that one's familiar to me, but let me find a familiar. The audio is jumping all over the place. It's like, yeah. Don't don't get this if you're getting it for Nintendo. It's all sped up too. Like, I need the, I need the Benny Hill music in that one. They have 166 Game Boy Color games, none of the Pokemons. Probably for legal reasons, I'm guessing. But still. But they have, like, the Zelda games, you know? I always blew my mind that Capcom helped out with the Zelda game. That's cool. Yeah. Can't say I'm too surprised. I guess. I don't know how, but it could. 